Oh, welcome back to Old Ridge Farm. Uh, this is the afternoon of the, of the day you were here last. We've got... Uh, Kylie is uh, on the uh, cultivator with the case. I'll change it over. Actually, no need for me to get another tractor. Think about it, mate. But that's the least of your problems. JCB is waiting on the uh, muck spreader. And I'm going to attempt to see if... Paul can get the little star to, to actually do the seeding. So we're, we'll try him underway. All we've got to plant today is the soy. Nothing else needs planting. Well, he seems to be working okay. Yeah, that's okay. We're good with that, but what I really want to talk about is something. We left off at 12 for dinner. I uh, invited Paul around because I wanted to check to him about what we were doing. Exact a, a schedule for this year to get everything, all the work done. Uh, I actually invited Kylie in all, but she wanted to get back to uh, have lunch with her boyfriend. So uh, I left her to it. In fact, she came back at one o'clock carried on work and we were still um, sorting things out because I got home and found there was the letter from the from DEFRA to say that I'd been refused the uh, special license for uh, water on my uh, skip to that on my fields uh, my two organic fields because I expect that really two fields isn't going to make a lot of difference to me and they have to say the water for those who need it um, Justin with his still have about half his farm will be down for the arable this year, this last year of high arable uh, he can water all his fields at the moment but only <coughs> only when the moisture drops below 20% anything over there and he's just not allowed to but that wasn't the matter I was glad through the paperwork would come with it and there was a massive amount of paperwork would come with it and I noticed there some the objections and one of them was from the district council to my application to the water uh, so I got in touch with a farmer friend of mine also in the district and he's actually a councillor and asked him what had happened. He said, <laughs> it's Council Mrs. Crawford Brown, of course, had put in a big uh, objection to me watering. Still don't seem like she, she's exactly forgiven me for taking Justin in when I did. Even though I did get to the wedding. And she got the committee round to agree, and they almost immediately wrote to uh, DEFRA. Uh, once I tipped the balance, but it didn't make me feel any better. But the other thing we got was a flyer. Uh, from, no, what were they called now? The, the Forum for, for a Moral Country. And uh, when I started reading that, I started to see a little bit red. It wasn't really for a moral country, it was for a country run to certain people's standards. Um, they'd actually named a few people in there locally, Kylie being one, because she lives with her boyfriend. Uh, I was also named because, um, you may not know, I'm, I'm actually an atheist, that's just my wife. You know, so when we got married, we got married in a registry office. Uh, I brought my children up to make their own decisions when they were old enough, whether they want to believe or not. I tried not to influence either way because I believe that everybody's right to decide on such things themselves. I decided, well, I'm in my 60s now, I decided when I was uh, still my teens that I didn't believe. But that, that's me. And nothing to do with anybody else. I don't mind religion. It's just not for me. I, 
if people want it, fair enough. What I don't like is people who say, who get onto me and say, you must believe. You can't be, you can't be human if you don't believe what I believe. I tend to get a little bit uh, agitated, feel like that, and uh, my language turns a bit blue. But uh, but we we were mentioned because as living in sin because we weren't married in a church, and neither of us are church girls. You talk about the vicar doesn't mind. I know the vicar well. He uh, likes a drink. Boy, does he like a drink. He likes his uh, Irish whiskey. Well, I've spent many a happy evening with him. Not a Saturday night, I know. I think he reckon he's busy on a Sunday for some reason. I've just got me coffee here. I'm some little slurp. And he, uh, I've, <laughs> I've walked him home several times because he's been slightly unstable on his pins. But, uh, if he don't mind, I can't see why anybody else should. He's one of the figures I don't mind. He doesn't care whether you believe or not. It's what you are like he cares about. Anyway, with that on my chest, I decided I want to find a bit more about him. There's a website address on there. Now, as you may recall from an earlier episode, I am hopeless with computers. Luckily, he pulled it there, so he fired up my computer, found the site, and then we saw who were the directors of this local directors of this uh, campaign guess who I think you got it in one councillor Mrs Crawford Brown it looks like she has decided after Mr Crawford Brown's little um, assassination with the secretary you know I'll be feeling more and more for that man uh, that she's going to try and put the world to rights to her ilk. But that should cause a little bit of fun in the near future. Because the things they, they are against is, as you may imagine, any form of same-sex relationship. Um, any other religion but even more so, put with new religion. I, I know one or two, two bishops who would be head under that, but uh, that's aside the point. So, I had a... It was two hours after we sat down to eat. Very nice uh, meat pie my wife had made for us, because, you know, she was out... Uh, Mother-in-law had a hospital appointment. My wife took her there, which was uh, would take her over dinner time. They decided to get a meal in the city. Was over there, so we. So it looks like we're going to have uh, an interesting time coming up. I begin to think that Mrs. Crawford Brown has finally lost it. It's a good job her parents are dead because um, I knew her father quite well, the fish and chip shop owner. And shall we say he wasn't exactly uh, a Christian? There's the ones I do know about some of our more uh, fundamental Christians in the district, the ones who go to church at every occasion. Uh, they're the biggest. Um, uh, biggest, no, how should I put this? I just hope the parents get married one day uh, for the rest of the week. Anyway, let's put that out of the way. We we'll get down to some work. See, no, it's a little stars pulling as well. Let's see how Kylie's getting on. I decided to give Paul the small track there, so it takes a little bit more skill to get the best out of that. So. With the case actually pulling this, par harrow, par cultivator. Uh, okay, I shan't bother to uh, change the tractor over. I don't really want to. 
Uh, if I may, I think at the moment just getting a new body for the combine. I've, as you know, I've got my eye on it now. One of the new Hollands. I only want the body because I'm going to carry on with my fold header. It's too good to uh, get rid of. And I don't want the edge cut. It would speed, it just speeds things up enough if uh, I don't have to keep going to empty it as often. So I think I can get one with about another 2,000 litres of grain. And that will do the job. Well, right, you know, I gave you a list of uh, what we were planting. Well, the soil is going in today, the early soil. Uh, the wheat will go in next. I'll prepare the fields. I'm on the non-organic. I'm not going to bother muck before I uh, plant. I'm just going to, uh, I'm to get moisture in the soil. I'm going to cheat slightly. I'm going to spray all the fertilizer on I can. I think I may well do it over a couple of days. <laughs> but this one could do some everything size. So we'll, we'll probably put some N in one day and some PK in the next. Double water. Should do us fine. Then spread muck all the top of all ones we can to save. Not drying out too much. I think I may well just uh, put some herbicide on the wheat fields before planting. I might have to do another quick spray near the end, which won't be a bad thing. So the wheat's going in next, and when that's all in, the beet. Uh, Ripe and lo light soy will go in. I'm going to just hop in here and just do the bits that have been missed. Get rid of Get this down. Wash this, but it's a waste of time washing it until we've done everything. It's down, switch it on. That's a way. Just knock the worst of this down we missed. Should have already got him, got that going already, but we haven't got enough people. Right, I see that the, to uh, change the subject to something more pleasant. I think Sean has got himself a new combine. Rather a nice class. I, I like my class, but uh, I don't think I should bother buying that new one. I like changing around the manufacturers when I change things around. That's a do. No. Have we got anywhere else we could put 
that in as soon as the wheat fields got going next. Oh, field 12. Should be the middle. No, I must have put the wrong one in. Let's try again. Oops. Ah, that's better. First point. And we get him running. Alright, let's go find the JCB. Unhook that. Yes, I wonder, before I forget, make certain you watch uh, Shawnee B's channel. He's in my recommend list, the same as BP. Especially their old bridge where you find them also carrying on a little bit with the storyline. BP especially 
tank to uh, duck to war. At least it, um, we don't actually fight each other if anybody gets the wrong idea. We're perfectly happy for each other to pinch the ideas and, you, and run with them. Down here, home field. No, I can't remember what we at the start of this home field. Here we are. Home field 1.8. with some grass grass around the edge of this field. This is the only one I've been played and that's been played because I had to beat in my very heavy machinery. If I could have got a white hope plan I would but and for anybody shows just I know in game it makes no difference but it does to my gameplay. Uh Stire's done that I think I better just fill him up again. just get this started and I think we'll call it it for this episode. I shall finish the scene off screen and when we come back again uh, we will start the seeding of the uh, wheat fields. I'm playing with the idea of actually changing my uh, growth cycle to to two day because uh, what that means is that two days between each growth at the moment set to one day. If you look carefully at the screen you should be able to see a little one above the uh, number which gives how much money I've got. Uh. Can't really see back in with this. I know I should better do it on the mirrors but I'm not that good a driver.
basically the side. Let's see if we can find where it is. Sorry about that cough. Hmm. That's wrong. I'm going to redo that. It's probably south west going north. Right, looks like we've got it there. Let's just check the room. It's certainly everybody else is working okay. You might not notice. Just go back and just have a look. You might just notice that I haven't... Give it this one. I haven't made the field exactly square or oblong. I've kept... When I remade them, I kept the fields a little bit interesting in uh, shape. Just made them a little bit easier to work with that, that dog leg in in these. And you find it a little bit more difficult on this field. Might be more of a slope on it. Anyway, let's have a look and see how the rest of these are going. Oh, he's third the way through. Okay. None of these will be seeded for a little while. Oh. And the last one to look at is this. And here's... Take that out. Oh, he's, he's got a long to go yet. So I think with that I will say thank you very much. Uh, thank you for subscribing, watching, commenting and the next video I do will yet be yet another old bridge that will be three in a row I think it is. But then I shall be doing the gamble which is long overdue. I'm going to try and get the other the last episode that's up, uh, made this weekend or Monday at the latest and try and make the gamble. Tuesday, Wednesday, and I was starting a new semi-tutorial thing 
introduction to uh, playing on modded maps because you may know I've done a uh, series called Naked which was playing without any mods at all just standard stuff so I thought I'd introduce a few mods in the next one because let's face it we all like to use mods well, at least I know I do I think we might hit that tree so I think before we do I will say thank you very much and that's cheerio for now